Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Hey guys, welcome to join unboxing reviews. I had to stop the video and delete it because it said my mum's name. I don't think my mum would be happy with her name on the internet. So when I ask her again, I'm going to turn the Alexa down. Here we go. Alexa, what is arriving from Amazon? A delivery for Samantha's order, placed yesterday. Oh dear. Alexa, what is arriving from Amazon? A delivery for Samantha. And there you go, guys. That's how you mute someone's name on YouTube. Hopefully, my figure, my Santa's arriving tomorrow. Alexa, coronavirus news. Jordan, here's what's new. From BBC News. Hello, you're listening to BBC News. Protests in response to the death of an unarmed black man who was in police custody have now spread to 30 different cities across the United States. George Floyd died in Minneapolis on Monday when a police officer knelt on his neck, continuing to do so after Mr. Floyd had complained he could not breathe. Curfews have been brought in to try and control demonstrators in LA, Philadelphia and Atlanta. Tom Sheck is a reporter for APM Reports in Minnesota. The police started to shoot tear gas, some uh, rubber bullets, uh, and they've dispersed the crowd. We saw a heavy police presence kind of moving and dispersing a crowd that had several hundred, if not thousands of people. And at that point, the crowd has dispersed throughout the area. And we're still trying to get a good sense of what the police are going to be doing next. People most at risk from coronavirus who've been self-isolating for 10 weeks are to have restrictions relaxed from Monday. People in the vulnerable category with serious health conditions will now be able to go outside and meet one other person as long as they're socially distanced. Over 40 health charities have asked the government for clearer advice. Also from tomorrow, some professional competitive sports in England can restart, but only behind closed doors and provided safety rules are met. Horse racing will be first back. Premier League football is expected from the 17th of June. Brazil has become the fourth worst affected country with coronavirus in the world, overtaking France. The number of people who've died from COVID-19 there is over 29,000, and nearly half a million have caught the virus. President Trump is postponing a G7 summit that he wanted to host in the US in June. On Friday, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel said she wouldn't attend the meeting because of the pandemic. Meanwhile, the US has recorded a further 960 deaths from the coronavirus in the past 24 hours, according to Johns Hopkins University. Tourist attractions around the world are starting to reopen. Yesterday, the Leaning Tower of Pisa welcomed visitors for the first time in three months. Visitor numbers are restricted to 15 at a time. And the al Asqa Mosque in Jerusalem has also reopened. Worshippers there are required to wear face masks and have to follow social distancing rules. Finally, a spacecraft built by Elon Musk's company has successfully launched from Florida. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. The NASA and SpaceX capsule is taking two astronauts to the International Space Station. That's the latest BBC News. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6.36 a.m. The right now in Bath. It's 12 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same, with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 9 degrees. That's all for now. Well, Germany and France have got it very bad over there. So people are not going to come overseas ever again. Um, yeah. I hope you do enjoy your... I hope you, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
after I've uploaded this video, I'm gonna watch some, um, my iPhone charger is gonna come today. Cause the one I've got now, oh my God, yeah, it's breaking the end part where the, um, This bit here is starting to come off. So I've ordered a new one from Amazon. It should arrive today. If you hear a ding dong and the dogs barking, that's the postman with my package. And with my snippers, I'm going to snip it. I'm literally going to snip this cable, not now, but when the cable comes I'm going to snip it. Yeah, so please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And we are coming out of lockdown. Officially we are coming out of lockdown. Lockdown. Down. Down. Lockdown. So that's going to be good. Hopefully I can do my transition. Maybe a couple of weeks I can start my transition. If not, I will start my transition in um, September. Peace. Stop recording.